Man, I had to plow the, the roads, I had to shovel the driveway, and there's still sun out. It's just so, so annoying. Hi, Dado, how are you? Good, bud. Yeah? How we doing? I'm good, I'm good. I'm enjoying my 30 degrees Celsius winter. How are you doing? I'm enjoying my 50 degrees uh, American uh, winter right now. It's pretty nice outside. Very good, very good, very good. Now, uh, I hear you're doing the rounds again, so here we are, and... Uh, I've, I've been doing some, some amount of rounds, yeah. yeah we've, done, we've done multiple of these, if I remember correctly. This will be a... Th well, not counting the, the surprise one that you did. Uh, this would be number yeah, three. Yeah, no, I don't count, I don't count that yeah. one. So this would be number three. Last time okay. around, I tried to make it a whole thing and give you a game show kind of thing where every 10 deletes, we'd ask you a question. Um, mm -hmm. But people were just like, no, I want to hear why you deleted things. I, I cannot get enough of the reasons the same five reasons why you always suggest <laughs> deleting something. Interesting. So I, okay. I want to hear the full explanation as to why you deleted your sunset midnight coup that has not been used in five years, you know? Mm -hmm. I really want to know the exact details. I want to hear the Dado voice telling me it's okay. Okay, that is literally, I've never heard anyone say that they want to hear my voice, so that is very interesting. 592, if I remember correctly, which I do because I just watched the video. Mm -hmm. We got you down to 400 yeah. last year. Yes. And we've managed to just completely undo all of that work. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing has stuck. Hey, it, it, it has been a year. It has been a year. And in my defense, mm -hmm. you were responsible for going to Bungie to get us more vault space. And you haven't done that. Literally, no. I, I, when have I ever advocated for more vault space? I have always advocated for player responsibility, clean out your vaults. It's not Bungie's fault that everyone keeps a bunch of garbage. Oh, for fuck's sake. Your Honor, I think, I, I think that means I win. Hello? What happened? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Did you are you still rolling? <laughs> yeah, I'm still <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I was just like, I made an excellent point and you didn't say anything. And I was just like, all right, uh, guess that means I win. No, <laughs> no we're, I'm keeping that whole thing. As, as king of destiny, your opinions on your subjects are irrelevant. Because what your role is, Dado, in this community is to give the people what they want. And you didn't do that. So, ratio. I think what they want is more vault cleanings, really. If I, if Bungie just gave you more space, this whole thing wouldn't be a thing anymore. No, the videos would be two hours long. What do you mean? So, let, let me ask let me ask you. Hmm. How how did we get back to this state? Okay. How did we go from four hundred items delete or four hundred items out of six hundred to now we're basically right back like nothing happened? So there's a few reasons for it. Obviously, the, the some of the reasons are you know I review weapon I review weapons so I want the weapons right so you have all mm -hmm, this shit here, mm -hmm. but then right. you also have this other thing I've discovered. I mean, sh none of this needs to be here, but like, and I, I save most of these for like deep side activation, deep side harmonizers because I didn't want to do the mm -hmm. raid all the time. But then you have some new reasons, which are I learned what build crafting was and I learned how to make the builds and I learned how to have fun without shooting guns because this is not a a game where you shoot guns this is a game where you shoot abilities so there's a currently lot of, yes there, there's a lot of that in here as well and that's what okay. i'm a, concerned about a lot like i have three of video spades why do i have three of <coughs> video spades we don't know we're, we i didn't ask myself this question until today so that's mm -hmm. that's kind okay. of the the background but also feel free to be absolutely ruthless i mean going into uh the final shape i am officially not married to anything anymore interesting yeah because okay. i was i was pretty mar married to this last couple of years but now i'm just sitting there thinking like okay like if i really wanted this experience i could get it from collections well i mean here's the thing with something like midnight coup or or like any sunset weapons that you have i didn't see a whole hell of a lot mm. so i don't think sunset weapons are your issue we can hang on to some sunset weapons here and there that is fine. You want to hang on to spare rations. You want yeah. to hang on to midnight coup. That's not your problem. Okay. okay. Your problem is all of the other things that I'm seeing here that just like hit E for me. Just just hit E. Hold it down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
So we can already, I'm seeing the middle row here. Yep. You see the, all those 1600s. Yep. So do you typically level up your items when you play with them? I have to like them first, but generally, yes. Okay. Okay. So generally speaking, you will infuse something up to the maximum level if you use it or at the very least like it. Yeah. So what I'm seeing here is a lot of stuff that you don't like. Yeah. Or didn't don't like enough to, to care about. Okay. So like the number one thing I want to look at is the Europa weapon on the left. This one. Yeah. Okay, so I have kept this for one very good reason. It is a bitch to get again. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason. In terms of what it is, in terms of roll, I'd say it's a decent roll. It's not the best roll, but yeah. if I wanted something... If I wanted a fun experience that completely surprised people in the Crucible, this would be it. But I also know that Peace Bond basically does the same thing, and it's right there, and that's better, and I have history with that. So... Okay. And I was going to say, you claim for this to be fun, yet you have not had any fun with it. So how do you know I've that it is fun? fun with it in my mind? Okay, I was going to say that that zero. Let's go ninety nine recoil otherwise. direction. Okay, fine, fine. You mean like this now, are you? Okay. I'm just saying. Okay. Fine, fine. So use it or lose it. What else do we have? Anything that's sixteen hundred, that's what I'm beelining right now. If it's sixteen hundred, it hasn't been it hasn't been used. Yes. Servant leader. Rabbit hit kill clip kill clip, great roll. Uh absolutely fantastic PvE roll. In my mind, scouts are a bit cringe right now if you are of a higher quality of player. Most people are not really bothering with scout rifles right now at the higher end of gameplay mm -hmm. you can use other things yep. and bungie has said a million times over if you're gonna use super long range weapons they are just not gonna do as much damage as other stuff because yes. you are trading the safety for the damage yes this was a pure so, pvp role i think in terms of a rapid fire scout this was probably the best example i've won i've i've gotten plus i love the way this thing looks that's mm -hmm. my emotional argument for it. The practical argument is I have I am not a scout rifle user or not a rapid fire scout rifle user, and I have mm -hmm. used this the grand total of one time. Okay, and how did it go? Not great, because that fifty four recoil okay. direction was not not pleasant. Okay, so this one might hurt some of the viewers watching at home to delete because it's oh say less a really say less good roll. say less. All right. <laughs> Uh, I love it. I love to see it. What else we got? Okay. The um, Scholar, like in the middle. Yeah. So unobtainable, first of all. Secondly, kind of... It was, you know that means nothing to me, by the way. Yeah, Just, okay. Because you cannot get it, it literally means nothing to me. I don't care. Also missing alacrity, etc. all that. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, I love this weapon, but I also know I have not used this weapon in a year, which is pretty damn. So... All right, I'll save you. you I'll save you the lecture. I will for save PvP. you. PvP. Yes, for PvP. What do you? When are you going to use a 150 scout in PvE? What do you use a 150 scout for at all? You use? You ever played Disjunction, bro? I haven't played what? Disjunction. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm still not using a scout on Disjunction. <laughs> if I wanted to plink plonk at enemies, I just hop in a GM. Have you ever been a Sky Skylock? Playing this like heat rises? No. no? Okay. Well, absolutely not. No. All right. If I'm gonna post cringe, it's gonna be on my Titan. Hmm. There's 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 cringe, and then there's being a Titan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. What else? Um, there's cringe, and then there's this effing vault. You know. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, buddy. <laughs> Chill. All right. So escape we escape velocity, overflow, quick draw. Yeah. What the, is this doing? This is this was a. Model eight. These things moment. don't have. They don't even have origin traits on them. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But hey, it That's wasn't how old. They are. I remember why I did this because we were running scrims one time, and there was a rule set where they forgot to ban escape velocity because they love to ban things. And I thought, you know what? This could be a funny option. They'd be like, "Whoa, what is this?" And it's like, "It's a four-year-old gun, bro." Um, that's the only reason. So this was to get around a loophole yeah. that you didn't even bother to use 
Mm -hmm. in the first place. Yep, pretty much. They let me use my pulse rifles instead. (laughs) All right, time to go. Bye-bye. Okay. um, This was was a good idea until Unending Tempest came along. Yeah, it's it's an okay roll. I mean, friction fire is like one of the uh, you know one of those pretty pretty good rolls from you know I'd say that the kind of like pre season thirteen yes. kind of renaissance that we had. Yes, um, it's fine, but you're I don't think you're touching it, and you can always replace this. Like this is replaceable. Yeah, that's very. You know what I mean, it's replaceable. If not for the uh, the actual gun itself, but definitely the archetype. Like we've got examples mm-hmm. now. Um, okay. All right. This is that was the meme roll with the offhand strike and being able to like one shot people yes, from a million miles away. It's already had its harmonizer used, so it's it's gone. Okay. Do you have the pattern? You have the pattern for it? No, I don't. But I can't deep side harmonize that one because I used that one for the pattern. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, you are not taking this for me. All right, fine. <laughs> You've been cooperative you, so far. You can take this one from me. And now we, now we reset the meter. Um, thoughts on 140 hand cannons generally in the game at the moment? Um, I mean, in PvE, they're a whole hell of a lot better. Mm. I wouldn't be using this for PvE. I'd be using, you know, like a Fatebringer or something. Yeah. Um, or like a Zowley's Bane. Um... So, yeah, PvE-wise, I this is instant uh, dumpster. Uh, PvP, it seems good. Yeah. You know, a, like opening shot elemental capacitor, you know, it's depending a, on what, what it, spec you're on. It's a pure consistency roll. That's why I went for it. You get all sorts of different bonuses depending on your, your subclass. Um, especially if you're playing Strand, you just get, like, perfect inner accuracy, basically. Mm-hmm. And but Let I, me ask you this. Hmm. What kinetic hand cannon are you using right now for PvP? Oh, Ostringer. Like, it's not even close. Ostringer is miles better than Dire Promise at this point. Okay, so what this, are we doing then? This was this came into the vault, I think, 2020, when there weren't a lot of consistency roll hand cannons in the game, period. And it did serve me well for a little bit of time, but, you know, 64 kills, I'm not married to it. Um, it's it's fine. It's it, It's gone. <laughs> Like, at this point, it's been power crept out of the game. Um, There we go. I want to talk to you about this one. This one's a particularly interesting one. Okay. So this is a snapshot opening shot roll, which, to Mm -hmm. my knowledge, you can no longer get on this weapon. Okay. Missing the the origin perks. So this is, like, version one of Eye of Soul. I have a firmly planted opening shot roll with alacrity Mm -hmm. and arguably better perks all around here. And okay. to be honest, I know it's a better sniper, and I know it is better, especially considering I'm main controller most of the time in PvP, but the snappiness of this combination is really hard to ignore. Yeah, I still really like Snapshot on snipers. I know it got nerfed, but I still really like it, so I totally get it. Um, what kinetic sniper are you using the most right now? Probably that one. And also Bite of the Fox with Snapshot Opening Shot, which I think Snap Opening up on that particular frame, which is an aggressive frame, that makes more sense because it has low okay. handling. This one has decent handling. You you can feel Snapshot, but Snapshot's not as much of a you know must-have perk anymore, like you said. Okay, so here's what I'm going to say then. If we're keeping this and we're keeping two other snipers, mm-hmm. then basically any other kinetic sniper that we see, you're really going to have to justify why we keep it okay because you can only use one sniper at a time and you would have to tell me like why when and why would you use one particular sniper over another sniper Hmm. on any given like instance of a game mood i mean there there might be also like like with aggressive snipers you are more likely to use them in 6v6 for super shutdown capabilities mm-hmm. but also the body shop uh, damage of, of aggressives is just perhaps better overall i think you sacrifice mm-hmm. you obviously have that power and you trade that for a lot of the utility stats like your stability is low handling is low reload is low all of that is gone in trials or, or 3v3 um whereas this is a more generally well-rounded package um so mm-hmm. 
I think from a PvP perspective, there is more of a like situational cause for it. Like it depends on your opponents, depends on the round, depends on the game mode, etc., etc. Um, but you know, we're talking about very similar packages here. Like the meta for snipers hasn't changed in God knows how long. And if it doesn't right. have snap and opening shot, then you know. Y y your second best has to be some sort of consistency pack or something that boosts the the stats that are missing basically all, right. all that to say the next sniper i see you're really gonna have to justify it okay fair enough all right we'll keep that i'm i'm very on the fence about this because i think it may see that's the other one right there that's the one i use yeah. exclusively for trials but i haven't used it in some time because i haven't had need to um mm -hmm. the, yeah it's it's like i i know i can delete this but i I, you know, I just, there's that what if. That what if is pretty strong. Okay. Okay. Uh, do we care about two Hawk Moons? What else? Probably not this one. Um, anymore. not right now, but I mean, clearly one has gotten more use over the other, yeah. and all I hear about Rangefinder is that it's nerfed now. Yeah, this was, this was for when Rangefinder was king, so that can go. So, like, every PvP player that I've talked to is just like, Rangefinder ass, literally delete everything <laughs> that has Rangefinder on it. Yeah. Um, so that's all I gotta say about that. Um, Two multi mock, I pretty much always ignore. I let people keep their multi mocks okay. because it's an iron banner weapon. It's really specific. Um, oh, I can get rid of this one. Rush. Sorry, I just I, I noticed I got the pattern for this. Oh thing. yeah, yeah, yeah they crafted. Okay, yeah. Um, Chroma Rush, I know is like a very big fan favorite. Um, 289 kills, not really that many kills. It's heating up rampage, so it's not even like subsistence rampage. Mm. So. This is a gun you're not really touching that much. No. It's season 14. It's, I, it's done. I mean... No Argent trade either. It's, it's done. It got power crept. Yeah. Uh, don't touch this. <laughs> Great fate bringer. Yeah. Love it. Yep. Uh, this is an emotional purchase. Uh, lightweight shotguns are terrible, but also I know there's a new Reese Walker coming, so I feel like this one is safe to delete now. Okay. Which is my pain some people, but that's also why I'm doing it. Ooh, yeah, that, that hurt. That actually hurt. Um, this is a fun meme roll, but I have the grand total of no kills on it. So mm -hmm. shall we ignore this and move on? Why are we ignoring it? No, as in, shall we just delete it and move on? I misspoke. Oh, yes. I would love to. Okay. Okay. Exotic. Uh, Peace Bond. Still good. I would like to keep this until they refresh it. That is fine. We just had the sidearm conversation. Okay. That's totally okay. What do we think about Last Breath? What is this role? What are you trying to accomplish <laughs> here? Well, you know, like, Adrenaline Junkie works like Swash, right? Except for grenades. So you still get that damage boost yes. boosted X1. So it one kill reduces the forgiveness. It's a sort of a... The idea of this particular role was dueling auto-rifle. And now that I've said that out loud, it sounds really stupid. Uh-huh. Because and for variety and of also you haven't played with it at yeah. all. Yeah, you're right. It's a great role though. Okay, I can I can hear your your judgment. Yeah. Mm, fan, uh, one of my favorite pan cans with this particular combination as well. I know I am not getting this role ever again. So I would like to keep this. Considering one. how you need to farm it, I will let this one go. Okay. Uh. So do you have a pattern for this? No. Not yet. Okay. So keep that um, one. If, if you really, really want to keep it, fine. But what's the, are you... What's the one like, from... When you do PvE... Yeah. When you do PvE, are you a disorienting grenade kind of guy? Like, you're, are you the kind of person that throws in a disorienting grenade launcher to, like, blind a bunch of enemies all the time in, in high-level content? Only for day ones. Like I've never had to Only do for day that. One rating. Like like the disorienting meta has not been a thing since a while for a while for like general GMs. I feel like most people are just like wish ender and something else at the back or wish ender and forbearance. Um, mm -hmm. This is a good. I, I feel like disorienting grenades would be more useful to me if I was somebody who did like carries and sherpas through GMs to just help mm -hmm. with ad management. But I don't do that, so I just have this lying around for like. The maybe roll for a day one raid. Okay. And have you ever ended up using it in a day one raid? <sighs> Not since Vow, I think. Not since Vow. So it's been almost two years then. Yeah. Okay. So redeem the pattern and then bye-bye. 
I I would get the pattern for this if you really want to have a blinding GL. But like even the perks like Ambitious Assassin, you're not really killing stuff. Like no. that's not its main priority. The main priority it's is like, blind. Its main priority is to blind, not okay. to kill. Okay. So, you know, like demo is like okay because you know you can every so often get a, a kill here or there. But me personally. If I'm using this as a blinding GL, I want auto-loading holster so I can just pop a shot, yeah. switch, yeah. do my damage, and then come back to it. Okay, that, those are valid points. That's enough for me. Uh, let's get rid of that. And if I need the pattern, I mean, it's like, what, five dares or something it's, like that? Something crazy. It's, it's right there for you. You can go You can go get it. It's something to go do. Uh, keeping this until I get the crafted, I do not have the pattern for this just yet. Um, okay. Same reason for this, but I wanted to get your thoughts on sort of shotguns generally in PvE right now. Like, this is not a great roll, but it's led from Gold Trench for bar Trench Barrel. Yeah, I mean, I have the most amount of experience right now with Titan in terms of shotgun usage, just with the, the Strand Syntheseps 1-2 punch setup. I'm not really using a shotgun for the shotgun damage. I'm using it as a primer for my melee damage. Okay. Um... So that's like, you know, the, I think the only shotgun I'm really using for that much damage is like Legend of Acrius. Sure. Yeah. Because that, that is a damage weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Definitely. Most other shotguns uh, to me are, are primers to enable you to do something else. They still do good damage, but like you need, and even like Hunter too, like Arc Hunter. Yeah. You're also using it for one-two punch setups. You're using it to prime targets. Makes sense. So that's where they're really being used right now is is in that style. I don't feel like there's a whole lot of trench barrel action going on, again, unless you're using Legend of Acrius. Um, everything else is just like one-two punch setup. At least that's the stuff that I'm familiar with Okay. right now. Yeah, it, it definitely. So like this yeah. to me is just like an insta-delete. Okay, fair enough. Then that's what we'll like, do. I don't even care. I will defer to the expert on this one. Um, yeah. crafted, but also, I mean, not the best crafted. I don't think patterns are your issue right now, although you have a Tears of Contrition in, in like, crafted on the bottom row. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. I like the feel of it. Is that weird? But clearly not that much. <laughs> no, okay, I only it's got level this- one. I only got this pattern, like, four weeks ago. Because I did um, the rotator for Presage. I, I forget exactly when it was, but it was some time ago, uh, sometime okay. in the recent recent past. And uh, yeah, I just loved. I have always loved the way this gun feels, and this roll feels really good in PVE for some reason. These are all PVE kills, the twenty six kills. I don't in think PVE. I'm, you're using sorry, sorry, not PVE, PVP, PVP. Uh, sorry. Okay, I was yeah, like, yeah. you gotta be kidding me, brother, man. Like, no, no, no. Like max, PVE. a max stability one eighty scout is is an experience. It's 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 not okay. a great experience, but it's an experience. Man, you you just you, like you have me on on the edge of my seat, and then you're like, actually, it's garbage, and then I'm like, okay, <laughs> and I'm back. Listen, um, listen it could be metal, right. right? You don't know. Let's let's go uh, let's go next page. Okay. You have a lot of. I think the issue with your vault. Wait, wait, go back to that fortissimo. What the hell is that? Uh, a, a rare weapon at one point. I was going to make a world drops video, and then never happened. All right. I think the issue with your vault is that like you don't have a ton of dupes. Like you got one here, two there. One page had like a bunch, but like you have so many individual weapons mm. and so many unique weapons that it's tough to go like just rip right through them. Yeah. Like, uh, this like one burden can, of guilt. This can go. I mean, like I mean, one's one's clearly better than the other, and the other one's adept too. So that can go. That's easy. Yeah. Uh, this GL right before we switch, lingering dread. This is the same same scenario. Is blinding ambitious assassin, but as, at least as chill clip, which actually does um, proc ambitious assassin quite a lot when I use it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like it. I'll let this one slide. You yeah. deleted the other one. I'll yeah. let this one slide. Let's go next. Nice. Uh, I'll string it. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not. I'm not having a lecture on this one. That can go. <laughs> Good. Uh, a couple of um, we now we're getting into dupe territory. Like these are the sort of the stuff okay. that I'm not 100 percent on. Um, okay. So some deep sites here. You should be 100 percent on that Smiter. Hold up. You should be 100 percent on that Smiter Moraine. I'm just, what is this doing here? I'm just gonna use the deep site thing right now. 
Is there a thing where I can use it? No, I guess it's bugged. Let's take that out and let's quickly All do right. that and and use it for the pattern. Okay, there we go. Now, we, oh, there no, we go. Oh, oh, oh. And now oh. you can trash it. <laughs> I don't know when's next time I'm going to play King's Wall. I, re I really enjoy this raid, but like also nobody else seems to. What, King's Fall? Yeah. I like King's Fall. Okay. Alternative PvP role, but for reason, like you said, I need a l good reason to justify it, and, uh, well, unfortunately, my name is not true Vanguard, so I do not have a good justification for this, so. Okay. Sorry. Is this is another one where it's like, go get the pattern. If you really, yeah. really like the sniper, which I know it's good. I know a lot of people who use Defiance of Yasmin. Go get the pattern if you really want it. Oh, uh, yeah, so Snap Moving was a dupe of this one, which is actually really good. But again, mm -hmm. it's like, I have two patterns, two weapons here that need deep sights used on them. Is it worth just saving to till I have enough harmonizers to get the pattern for these? I mean, it's so tough to answer, like, the what do I use my deep sight harmonizers question on? Mm -hmm. Because it's like, I don't know what you're in the hunt for, you know? Like, well, I I mean, I'm very caught up on my pattern, so I just don't really use them that much. But for other people, it should just be like, what are you hunting the most right so, now? Or like, what's the more difficult thing to get? I have a, so, so basically like most of the new crafted weapons that come out tend to be seasonal related mostly. Uh, in terms of mm -hmm. just a pure value thing. And then obviously you have the raids that come out, reprise raids, and I'm sure next season we're going to have a reprise raid as well, or this season, because mm -hmm. this is being released during Season of the Wish. Haha, <laughs> didn't, didn't, didn't give anything away. Nice one. Um, so with this one, like for me, I know that raiding is difficult for me being in Dubai and being in the Middle East. It's hard for me to get a group together at any sort of time especially in the off season when everybody's sort of just playing other games so i would right. rather save my deep sights for the raid weapons i do get rather than anything else i'm happy to play any that other understandable i'm happy to play any other repeatable activity until the cows come home so i think i just answered my own question there you go yeah if we're using this for deep sight then fine keep it around otherwise firefly firing line neat neat roll but like yeah we're not gonna yeah, yeah. do anything with it is it still copium snipers PVE, I mean, if uh, right now they are, yes. Yeah. I think for them to for them to not be cope anymore, I think we need an encounter that specifically boosts the potential of snipers, and by that I mean like it has to just be the best thing or the smartest thing, given the mechanics of the fight. Yeah. Because if you can still just rocket the crap out of everything and do pretty equal damage sure you're still gonna keep using rockets sure sure so sure. we need a really specific scenario for the sniper to be good whether that's they just do crazy high damage or there's a boss that really encourages their use they are cope and they will probably continue to be cope okay fair enough i was just checking how many patterns i had left so two patterns left and i have two deep sites in the vault excellent nice Okay. Uh, moving on. This was a uh, holdover from uh, Ye Funny Weapons Weekend. So I think I can get rid of that. Mm -hmm. I've never seen anybody make a case for this weapon. So. Okay. I'm certainly not going to. <laughs> okay. Um, and guess what? You can make it again. Hard to get. Don't use it. What, and we've already had the sidearm talk. Yeah. Okay. And we're not talking about this one. I was gonna say, I see where you're going with it, but also it's got some fat zeros. Yeah. Uh, favorite weapon in the game by far. Not touching them. Um, hey, I love Revision Zero. I love some. I love me some Revision Zero. One day this will be the primary of choice for PVE. One day. Until then. Um, a, a hot take, but an understandable one from a fellow Revision Zero player. Yeah, yes. <laughs> um, pure PVP weapon. Love it. Uh, I haven't recrafted this for PvE, but I also really enjoy using in PvE. I know aggressive pulses aren't hugely impressive at the moment, or all pulses generally, mm -hmm. but you know what? Like They will be at one point, so I have faith. Yeah, I mean, you, you put some work into both. I, I think the, that's those are both justifiable. Mm. Okay. Um, ooh, uh, well, look, I know it's rare. I know it's hard to get. I haven't used it. 
what are we feeling about this? Because sidearms are generally quite good in PvE. They they do a lot more damage than I think people realize, but it's just that their condition to do that damage is so, so specific. Yeah. yeah. Um, in that you need to be really close. So yeah, like the headstone roll with stasis, I mean, it's it's a novel idea. Um, but I've been in the same boat. I had some liminal vigils with headstone in my vault for God knows how long. Yeah. And whenever I was doing stasis stuff, I was not going to liminal vigil. I Fair just enough. wasn't. I was going to my Is Luna. I was going to like Verglock curve um, or like aggers. So it's more distance know. or utility options, basically. Yeah, it's just I, I never really felt the need to really get in the thick of it. And I suppose if, if you sidearm. if you wanted an aggressive stasis playstyle, the unending te tempest SMG might just generally be better. Um, yeah, unending tempest is a, a very very good SMG. Is this a conflict of interest, for lack of a better terminology? We have headstone, which requires precision final blows, and an Arjun trait that mm -hmm. prefers firing from the hip. Oh my god! Yeah, I never even thought about that. Very counterintuitive. I guess unless you had like hip fire grip on it, mm. which even then it's kind of not the best because this go is a two burst. It. Yeah, go back to it. Handling reload speed and movement speed while aiming downside. Yeah, so you have to like prime it first, but then it's like you're not even getting like aim assist or anything yeah. like that. You're just getting like handling and like yeah. unless you were like a hunter person with with shurikens, so then you can get swashbuckle going, damaging from the hip, and then it, it's like it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of APM yeah, for it, the same result as throwing a grenade. Right, yeah, for, like, not that much payout yeah. at all. Totally. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, rose 1, Rose 2. Rose 2 has been made obsolete due to Rose 1. Also, we're getting focusing next season, so bye-bye. Um, thank God we're getting focusing. I cannot wait for that. Um, rate this cope of 1 to 10. I mean, it's it's like a fine gun, and you got some you got some experience on it, but like it's not even loading properly. I don't know what what's your SMG of choice right now? Probably unending tempest of being on. Oh no, um, submission. Ta da! Okay, so you're on submission. Yeah. So like, do you still need cold front? And if you really want a rampage SMG, it's like why wouldn't you just them. go to something like Huckleberry? Yeah, which is them. like still one of the best. You know, pri <laughs> yeah. primary weapons in the game. Yeah, it's true. You you either go all in on that, or you you, you don't bother because there's so many other options. Like a demo, a demo SMG is more useful in PVE than a rampage one. Yeah, if if you had like subsistence rampage, I'd give it to you. But I don't know. You, you just you have a lot of options yeah. to the point where I don't think you need to keep one of every option. For sure, and I think that's what this vault is, isn't it? This is like it's just like all these unique interesting roles that happen to have one percent uptime in one percent of scenarios <laughs> yeah it's just like it's it's just like it's not that deep you know yeah it's just we can we can just get just pick one pick whatever your favorite is and the difference between a god roll of your favorite and a god roll of like an alternative mm -hmm. is probably very very small yeah, like true. it's not going to impact your day-to-day -day yeah. as much as you think it will uh, we are keeping both of these in the middle of potentially making a longer video about these weapons, so I want to keep them. Okay. No, seriously, high impact autos, people are very sleeping on them. Like, super sleeping okay. on them. This is a okay. better Okay, I want to see that content. Okay. Narrator, he never made the content. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are we doing here for either of these? Are, are, is there any use case for either of these? I, I feel like I mean, this is a good one. Yeah, Recon Chill Clip's awesome. Um, I think a lot of people are hoping for the fact that Bungie makes Chill Clip scale based on impact. Okay. So right now, it, it, it deals a flat 40 slow, no matter what version of Chill Clip you're on, or like no matter what kind of fusion you're on. Yeah. And a lot of people are advocating for like, hey, that's okay for Riptide, because it's really fast. Right. But the super slow ones, I don't want to have to wait three seconds to freeze sure. something. Sure, sure. So... Like, we should scale this up. Um, so I think there's some potential, like, maybe, but it's also a little cope that they do something to help these higher ends. I would keep it around still. 
The other one is more of a PvP type thing. It. I'm not really using uh, high impact fusions in uh, in PvP right now. Um, and this is like one that I mean, it's got good perks. Like, you, there's no activation cost for these other than crouching, yeah, which is good. But you also need to remember to crouch every single time. And if you're not remembering to do that, then you're basically just getting elemental capacitor. I mean, most fusion rifle users are conditioned to doing so. I've certainly had to learn that the hard way, because um, mm -hmm. the benefits of firmly planted are so great, especially on on fusions, because they just make the oh yeah a lot definitely more manageable. But yeah, no, with, I'm not saying it's bad or anything. Yeah. But but I'm not a fusion person, and if I am, I'd rather be more inclined to something a bit more faster firing. So I think this okay. one's a good one to delete. But this right. one, hopefully, like this, I remember this was a lightful campaign reward drop, and I was like, whoa, that's cool. So I'll just mm -hmm. keep that there. That's why 1667 is weird. Yeah, I think it's okay to cope on maybe Bungie changing Chill Clip, but Chill Clip just in general right now is still so yeah. good yeah. Um, that yeah, yeah, maybe they don't. Yeah. Um, this seemed like a good idea at the time. I used it. I thought it was cope. I forgot to delete it, so I'm going to do that now. Um, Love it. Do... <laughs> what the fuck was I thinking here? <laughs> this is some... This is some... Can I win a game of PvP with the worst gun imaginable <laughs> content right here? Listen, we all Good want we, we, Lord. we all want less aim assist. We all want perfect in air accuracy. We all want Counter Strike, right? Like that's why we play this game. You know? Oh that's my God! <laughs> <laughs> uh, best gun in the game. People don't know it. Anyways, um, let's talk about these two, which I find to be incredibly interesting. So Rufus okay. Fury crafted one of the best strand auto, probably the best strand auto in the game. Uh, outside legendary. of legendary, legendary. Yes, sorry. Um, not the best roll, but I remember I crafted this mostly for the crafting. Uh, I'll change this at some point. It's level 15. It's fine. Okay. Um, Adept. Could, this actually could be an interesting roll because you combo with other things like, say, forbearance or heavy or something. Suddenly you've got a juiced gun that also gives you mm -hmm. demolitionist. Okay. So, but, but we got to put it to use. Yeah, no, for sure. My my main quandary is that, look, we can get this roll here, right? We can get that mm -hmm. same roll here. But what is the value prop of Adepts right now? Because I can, I can masterwork this. I'll get a few extra stop, two, two extra stats in each column. Hooray. And then I yeah, have Adept mods. Hooray. Yeah, it's bragging rights and the Adept mod. It's just, it's the slightest, slightest tiniest little upgrade that you can get over a non adept is it realistically gonna do a whole hell of a lot for you no it's just to flex it's just to show that you have an adept version that's really about it and if you don't care that much or you ever want to make any sort of adjustments the crafted's gonna be just fine yeah uh, yeah it's especially a, for pve do you for so I did want to ask you this about the j just generally about the game. Do you foresee a future where Bungie starts making adepts actually worth it? Because we we were talking about this on the channel in a previous video where you know there is a weapons problem in the sense that and you've you've known this for years. We've talked yeah. about this before. No, I, I watch your, I watch your video. I know I'm I, I know what you're talking okay. about. Okay. Uh, well, cool. That's that's really nice. Thank you very much. You're a nice person. May you have a very lovely Christmas. <laughs> Uh, but, but do you think that there is a need to separate out adepts to give them their value back in the sense that maybe they think about taking out crafted perks from or enhanced perks from crafteds or is there something more that they can do to just juice them up but not but but to, to potentially a power creepy kind of point but the but then also mm -hmm. the drop rate is so so rare that it's like oh I absolutely need this I need the chase like is there a, do you think there's a revamp of any description coming for adepts or do you think they're happy with what they are right right now in in the short term I, I don't foresee anything happening with adepts I don't really foresee anything happening until final shape and potentially beyond I think season twenty three uh, being extended and the thing being delayed Bungie is just like get to the finish line yeah. like that's their concern right now i don't think it's broken enough that they need to divert resources sure. to adjust something like adepts 
I would love for something to happen with Adepts, but Bungie has also talked about the fact that they don't want Adepts to be that much better than the regular versions because then you create uh, a situation again where you have like your Not Forgotten's and your Recluses and your Mountaintops and they don't want to go back to that. Um, Should they? Also, though? I don't think they take away. I don't. I don't think they take away enhanced perks from regular crafted weapons because you can't. You can add stuff. You can never take stuff away. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the 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 general player base would lose their minds unless there was some sort of like you know like double enhance for for adept weapons. I don't know. Um, so you can't take anything away. I don't know how much you can really add to adepts. They were never really designed to be something super, super enticing. They were just designed for like the giga min maxers out there to be like, I got an adept. I got plus five more range on my thing. But is, like, is, that's it. Isn't that a, a shitty thing to to just have explicitly as your, your design goal? It's like, oh yeah, this is just for the tryhards. That means 99% of people will never try a master raid, which is a shame because it's yeah. fun. It's really good. Yeah, no, I'm... I'm with you, but this game is a casual game and there's a lot of casual players and Bungie has seen what happens when you give the top end of players access to these insane weapons that the lower end cannot get. So they get, they have to flirt the line so closely as to not make things so powerful that they annihilate everybody else, but not so weak that they're not worth chasing. Right now, I think they're not worth chasing with crafted weapons being in the game, um, but hopefully one day that can change. Is it potentially an access? Like, so you're saying about about perhaps not being able to, like low end players not being able to get it. Is there sort of an access equivalency issue here where, you know, so let's say Not Forgotten comes back and it comes back as an exotic and it only comes back as a 10,000 rank thing, like max out comp mm -hmm. rank. You know, obviously that's a very, very hard thing to do. Even for, for good PvP players, that's a very hard thing to do. And then it comes back and it's in its OG form and it's everywhere and it's absolutely destructive. Mm -hmm. Would there not be a, a case then to have a gun that can, let's say for example, Lunas Hell, that is a PvE equivalent that anybody can get just to balance that out? Or does that kind of cheapen the, the reward of, of having that in the first place? Yeah, I mean, if you have two guns and one is incredibly, incredibly hard to get and one is much easier and they both do the same thing, why would you ever try to go get the one that is super hard to get? Maybe there's like a skin attached to it, mm -hmm. right? That's that's the only thing that they would do. It's like, oh, you hit 10,000, you get the, the PvP ornament mm -hmm. of, uh, of Not Forgotten that you can flex on. You get the all gold version or you get the all white version, like whatever it is. Um, that's how I think they would do it, but... Yeah, I just I think Bungie has messed around too much with giving the best players in the game access to the best weapons and then just watching them just absolutely dump on casuals. Yeah. They don't want that again. That's really what it comes down to. I'm with you. I would love for the super end game content to be the go to for the best items in the game. Yeah. It's yeah. just not at this point, it's just not going to happen. It's just not. Yeah, and there's uh, yeah, I guess there's nothing much more to be said about that. That doesn't already go back into things that we've already said in in various different forms yeah. over the years. All right, so it's just they want to protect they want to protect those casual players yeah. from the big bads. And, they just do. And to be fair, like even though as a as a big bad myself, <laughs> um, that's the right goal. It, it just talk is. your shit. Yeah. Um, all right, so based on that entire conversation, I'm deleting the adept because if I need it, yeah. I can go get it again. Um, yeah. Good roll, adept. Just like it. I don't. I don't keep the other Mikels, so because mm -hmm. this is just fine. Okay. Thoughts? Yes, I, I feel like this crafted. is crafted. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Bows are just like the exotic versions are just just way way better versions of of the legendaries to the point where if you're using a bow you really should just be using an exotic mm -hmm. bow yeah that's true so like i'd be using vergalot curve because especially now that they fixed it fair enough um i am going to d perform a series of actions that are going to cause a v variety of reactions on the channel 
because uh, this is a PvP thing and normally you let me take care of that. So keep away, tap the trigger is a consistency roll for the Immortal. And you know what? It's a very, very good roll. It has a reload masterwork, which isn't great. We can't really see the barrel perks here. It's fine. It's not a 5 out of 5 by any means. So that can go. Um, this is the Terror of the Crucible rangefinder target lock. Probably still incredibly strong, a bit too strong. Uh, ricochet rounds, arrowhead break, champ go. Like, this is a 5 out of 5. And mm -hmm. the very, very important thing to do is that you need to look yourself in the mirror and you need to ask yourself, am I better than this? The answer is yes. However, if you do not use this, you are throwing, so that one is sustained. <laughs> um, we don't care for aggressive SMGs in PvE, do we? I mean, I, I think most SMGs, generally speaking, are totally acceptable in PvE. I think it's mainly just like hatchling itself is like just not yeah. the craziest thing in the world. I know they've been getting some buffs. Threadling's been getting some buffs. So there's like some novelty in here, um, but you you got to have something that you're using this with. Yep. The, this, this needs to be used with intent yep. in order to really maximize its potential. Sure. Um, one thing I'll say is that I feel like for this particular archetype, 27 in the mag isn't big enough. Like I always uh, like without any sort of like a bonus reload yeah. thing. I mean, perpetual motion is bonus reload, but like barely. Yeah. Um. Yeah. If it was like subsistence, maybe sure, but no. Uh, like I just anytime I use this, I kept coming back to Icolos. It's it's weird. Okay. Okay. Now we have the other morality, the morality roll, demolition skill clip, DSR, appended mag, light mag, small bore, fluke barrel, decent roll, adapt all of that. You are you only need one. You know your soul will not forgive you mm -hmm. if you have to. So that's my reasoning. Bye. That's how I live my life. Not a great reasoning, I must admit, for people who are watching for looking for detailed reasoning, but quite honestly, this is the role. It is still the role. You should only get this role, even with Rangefinder mm -hmm. nerfed. I mean, maybe you swap out Rangefinder for Dynamic Sway or Perpetual Motion, but it's still fine because you, the added aim assist outside of its range band is, is still useful. Um, also, I mean, you can just go get an Unending Tempest with yeah. Dynamic Sway and Target Lock, and that's pretty good, too. Yeah, pretty much. A um, couple of PvP shotguns here. This one is a... Why are none of the perks loading? This one is, like, okay. It's the only aggressive I have that I use, mm -hmm. so I want to keep that one. What do we think about aggressive? I mean, this is the, the thing you were talking about with melees, right? So it's we can't see the perks. Slide yeah, shot, one, two, punch. It, 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 yeah, I mean, a one two punch shotgun is very replaceable. You're very rarely using the shotgun for the damage that it deals. You're using it for one two punch. Yeah. So, like, if you have a sword breaker, if you have the the crafted, uh, like, uh, oh my god, Hake shotgun that I forget the name of it right uh, now. Ragen Hilda. Um, yeah, if you got one of those, like, that's fine too. Yeah. This is replaceable. Okay. If for PVE, it's replaceable. Okay. Done. Also, I hate to, like, try to you know pick up the pace here but we've been going for almost an hour and we are halfway through page two <laughs> okay um so should we i want to hit i want to hit some dupes or okay. i want to go like super fast mode okay uh trash lightweight bow ass okay, why do we have this okay buzzard thoughts yes or no keeping overflow frenzy pvp range finder that's not a thing anymore um so i mean if you really want to keep one for pve keep the one for pve okay but like eh, you know, hung jury, hung jury, just like du just double. You're, are dipping. you a scout person? Yes or no? Mm, yes, kind of. It's gone. For PVE, it's it's gone. Um, okay. This is a good PVP role, but again, this is competing with with the other snap opening. But I do want to keep this because this one has the perk and all that. So hard to get. All right. Uh, copium roll for PVP. Uh, I, I Crafted don't. Crafted fine. Move on. Okay. No, no, Supremacy is just better. Um, this is a disappointing weapon, and anybody tries to tell you otherwise, they're lying. So, Battle right. Scar can go. Uh, again, I only had this to test it, never ended up testing it. It's fine, it's a decent weapon. This is a good roll, but I don't use it. Um, okay. Good, good Zipper. weapon. I, uh, I'm, I'm not going to argue that it's, a, that it's a bad weapon or anything. Okay. It's, it's good. But also, oh, are you using the thing? No. But I don't have a strand scout. I have it. I don't have it. Like, this is not a good scout. But are you using strand scout? And if so, why are you not using Quicksilver Storm? 
Uh, yeah, that's, that's 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 a good point. All right. I know Quicksilver Storm is not a scout rifle, <sighs> but it's the gun of the year, Quicksilver Storm. If you're not on Quicksilver Storm and you're on Strand, literally, what are you doing? Would you really give that your gun of the year? Quicksilver Storm is my gun of the year by far. Okay. It's, it's just... like not even close. Okay. For pure utility, right? For for PVE and even in some small cases PVP. Yeah. Quick Silver Storm is my gun of the year. PVE. Interesting. Okay. I will yeah. definitely take that it's into account. It's that good. All right. Uh, here, I'm going to tell you how good it is, okay? <laughs> I got Jez, who is notorious for never wanting to change to anything actually good in PVE. I got him to use Quick Silver Storm, and he loves it. Wow. That's high praise. That's high that's praise. That's incredibly high praise. Okay. So, based on that, does the Jazz like it? And the award goes to Quicksilver Storm. All right. Yeah. You make a good point. And, and, and Jez uses, like, stompies in PvE over, like, Star Eater scales because he likes his jump. Moving on. Yeah, no kind, comment. That's the kind of man we're talking no about No comment. Here. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I kept this. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, you're not taking that away from me. You can take this away. I don't. I don't know. I, it's good, but also I don't use this. Like it's just coming back down to. All right. Oh fuck! I know why I don't use this, or I do know why I kept it because it's a good, good roll. Oh, yeah. Lego will have my. Make ass a away. video or get rid of it. I'm. I'm keeping it. Um, All right. Pff, kinetic tremors in PvP on a 140. Thoughts? I've literally never used kinetic tremors in PvP. Okay. I barely touched it in PvE. I think it is actually pretty overrated in PvE, unless it's on a scout rifle, because scout rifles do like 17 damage per shot, yeah, so you'll yeah. actually be able to proc it. Okay. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's also actually really good. Um, no. Glizzy. No. I mean, one for all, but also no. Um, okay. Yeah, perfect float. What are we thinking about this weapon in PvE? I don't like it. I, I have tried it. I mean, it. yeah, it's like, I like 260 scouts, don't get me wrong. But, like, to me, scouts are a workhorse weapon. You gotta have them, like, rapid hit kill clip, rapid yeah, hit yeah. rampage. It, like, they need damage perks yep. to, to thrive. Otherwise, you're just plinking away, doing nothing. I need to just check how many patterns I need for Swordbreaker. Because if I need three patterns, then all three of them can stay. Uh, three patterns. Okay, so all three of these can stay. Hoorah. All right. Because uh, they're all decent. Oh, well, this can go. But that's a good roll. But the, we'll Two. craft it back. Um, uh, this War, one. Okay, you're, you play in controller. I know that. So, it's fine. like, Warden's Law has is a bit more acceptable. It's fine. But, yeah, I just... It's I, I played with it on keyboard and mouse. The only reason a, a keyboard and mouse player should keep this is if they're doing Lucky Pants Hunter. Yeah. In, Controller player, I leave that to you. In PvP, like, this was everywhere in Trials for that one weekend, but I literally have not seen it since. Like, it's fine. I it have was, not seen it since either. It's flavor of the week. It was okay. I just, like, for, for PvE, I, I'd rather use an SMG or, or, or Pulse or Scout or something else. Just, like, I feel like okay. it's too cumbersome for, for what it is trying to be. So I'm very happy deleting yeah. all of them. The, the good roles that I have are on my characters. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like I best, think you just pull, can you just pull this back out of collection? You can, but I also this is the best 120 in the game, like, uh, kinetic-wise. I'm going to keep it. All right, then hold on to it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> all right, what is that? What is this? <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm trying to come up with a good argument for it. Precision instrument can do three taps, but also it can three tap anyways. Maybe two tap under certain conditions. Demolition, it's a like good it's, roll. It's, it's hard to get fine, it. fine, but like, Jesus. Okay, fine. Um, I'm not using this. Don't know why any of the... Oh, it's because uh, these were new. That's why. And I'm just like, oh, this looks yeah. interesting. Horror story? Maybe, yes, no. Potentially, I like this roll. I this mean, this heads this roll felt nice. Headstone for, elemental for PVE or yeah, PVE. PVE. I mean, yeah. If if you're doing, I mean, headstone is just like a cornerstone perk of of stasis. So if you're doing any stasis stuff, you really need headstone. Mm -hmm. And then um, this one I tried. I don't think I had tried, so I'm I'm just gonna get rid of it. 
Yeah, I just, I don't like Vorpal on primaries. Like, I'm not trying to Vorpal... No, 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 you that's, know, that's valid. ...bosses and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's valid. Um, uh, this is like seeing Sasquatch or Bigfoot. Yeah, this, this is old school right here. Yeah, this is, this is what gun should be, man. This is how it should feel like to... <laughs> when I saw this, it was like... <gasps> and this roll, too? I mean, yeah, it's not... El, El Clasico. Yeah. yeah. No, I know. Like, this, this is what it needs to be. Like, <laughs> anyways... All right, we have a bunch of these. Which one? Okay. First one, great. Love it. Okay. That's what I use. It's great. Love it. Uh, this one is good synergy. Okay. It's fine. No. Also, not really. Okay. Then I'll get rid of this one. That's my vibe. That's my super quick. We've been going That's for fine. an hour. That's fine. We gotta keep things moving. Vibe. I'll get rid of this one as well. This one. This one's meta. Okay. Uh, meta. Yeah, that's that's great PVP. Any dude? Right, what else? We got? Yeah, oh, I don't need have, this. You have so many unique. I don't have weapons. It. It's so tough to dig through all of them. I don't need this anymore. It's crafted. Um, okay. Uh, no. No. No, I mean, like what PVP? Oh, yeah, this no. is locked. It's sixteen hundred. I don't even know if it has an origin trade on it. This is—it's so old. It's just—it's <laughs> just old. Okay. And like, it's been power crept probably. It's still fine, but like, you're not using it, man. I'm not I know, using. I know one. you're not using this. Best you're fusion not using in the game. That. No, best fusion. That—that's fine. That is fine, even though you haven't used it. What is PVP that? copium? Like, PVP copium. Just like it's just like random garbage okay, that, that like, can go to gar random garbage. Uh, don't I don't use this anymore, and I feel like beloved is just better in every way. Unless you and you can pull this out of yeah. collections as well, and you can also craft beloved. So Loki goaded auto rifles, but also this was only a recent discovery. Uh, this one is perhaps less recent, but also they're not. Are mm -hmm. they? Is it coming back? Is it back? I don't know. I'll keep these I for now. I don't. I don't really keep track of that anymore. Uh, this was. What was this for? Oh, this is for the uh, the DMT degeneracy days. This, this is this is old. Yeah, I can go. Okay, then we have some more beloved stuff. We, I know your thoughts on this one. That can stay. I, I love Salvo. I got a better one of this now, so this can go. Um, until a better one comes back, until a new one comes back, I think these stay. Okay. Um, yeah, sub one for all is good. This is a good sidearm. I do use this occasionally. Same thing with the sniper. If I'm looking for something different, this was a true Vanguard recommendation. Used it once, though it was fine. That can go. Um, these are all good. I like all of these. Although these are two. This is probably copium. This is this is actually decent, but like I haven't used it ever, and it's also coming back. So bye. Uh, da, 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 da. Subsistence rampage. Don't use it. So that that's an easy one. You can also like. There's so many good. You can focus like, on art. Like you'll get sweet sorrow. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, if you have the pattern, anyway, I guess. Yeah, it's here. Okay, yeah, there you go. Sweet sorrow. It's great. Pa great auto crafting stats for all. One for all. It's great. Pattern there. So these are all uniques. I'll, I'll keep these. This one, I love this one. Um, but I could also use this to just. You're really keeping the the embrace the 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 scout. Just because it's the best one. The best one of a gun that you're not using. Okay, fine. Be that way. When was the last time you even saw this? Fine, thing? fine. Be that way. Some people don't even know that gun exists. <laughs> keeping these for the pattern. You're two of the same one. What's that? Okay, yeah. fine. Pattern. I was gonna say they're both the same, but pattern fine. Best item in the game. Keeping that one. Um, again, this whole thing about uh, Vorpal and shotguns, perhaps not the best idea, so maybe get this. It's 15%, like, are, are you really using this for, like, no. boss DPS? Um, like this pulse, I'll keep that one. This is a weird one. I know it's good. Yeah. But I've already used Feeding these. Feeding Frenzy Rangefinder no. is, like... It can go. It's not a good roll. I would, I would, this is insta-delete for me. Insta-delete. Thoughts on these? I mean, it, they're they're fine, but like, are you gonna use this over like Tiku's or no. hierarchy of needs? Probably not. You're right. Yeah, like no, in, unless you're doing some kind of PvP thing. Yeah. Um, I used to be the same way. I was like, oh, strident whistle in incandescent. Yeah. I got a good roll of this, and I'm just like, I'm gonna use Tiku's. I'm gonna use Tiku's every time. I'm gonna use hierarchy of needs every time. 
pattern uh, pattern fodder. Um, Good, because I was gonna say uh, adaptive ammunitions has was relevant for half of a season. Yes, <laughs> it was. Uh, also pattern fodder. Wow, I forgot about this one. That's why I kept this one. You know, you only get like six deep sight harmonizers per season, right? And I'll use every single goddamn one of them. Um, <laughs> that can go. I haven't used that in a while. It's a good roll. No, it's not a good roll. It's not a good roll. It's a good gun. It's not a good roll. Uh, anime. Du, 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 du. Uh, I'm not in love with this gun. I don't know what people see. I, I don't. I don't really like Jurassic Green either. It's it's a god roll. It's a five out of five, but or, or it used to be five out of five. No, it's not not really anything anymore. Crafted, crafted, yeah. wilder frights. Do we care? I I thought this was interesting with the double fire. I don't think I've like seen this weapon being used pretty much ever. Maybe in speedrun um, strats, I don't even, but I don't speedrun. I like I would have to. I'm I'm literally looking it up right now to be like, what can this even get in terms of perks? Because it's from the dungeon. It's from yeah. uh, Spire of the Watcher. Yeah. And like, what's the top? Auto loading Volp uh, Vorpal. Whoop the effing do. <laughs> right. Like so both. That's gone? what people are using this for, and they uh, oh they also have disorienting grenades. So they're using it as a, like a double GL disorienting grenade play yeah okay that's what people are using this for i i've never seen this thing used i think wave frames are just way too strong right now yeah forbearance way too strong um you could even use salvador salvo like salvador salvo is just still like an awesome weapon from 10 seasons yeah. ago yeah that's true yeah the, the that's a very specific setup that that people are going for Okay, these two are 1% situations, and I haven't used them ever, so I'm going to get rid of these two. Um, okay. However, this middle one is a Hall of Famer. Let me see. Okay. Why did you hang on to this? Hmm? Why did you hang on to this? Do you, do you, do you have any idea how bad this weapon is? I, I very much know how bad this you, is. You are familiar the with the effects of Slick Draw and the effects of Gutshot Straight. I know that individually they are both terrible. Now, have you considered combining them? <laughs> not once. <laughs> that's why this is a Hall of Famer. And that's why I this... Because I'm not some sicko degenerate. This is why it stays. It is so horrifically bad. Like, I have used this only in custom games. Okay, then I'm I'm seeing another uh, a weapon for the can I win a game of PvP using yes. the worst weapon in the game? Series. But like this is this is so uniquely shit, man. Like that's why yeah. I keep it. Well, it's time to make some clickbait. Yeah. All right, that can stay um, for a high impact frame. Is this a thing? I saw it. I mean, yeah, it's fusions very recently got power crept very very hard. Yeah through controlled burst which is a new perk that's yeah. just like it's five percent less damage but you get it for your whole magazine um not to mention they can also get like yeah. envious assassin yeah on techie and force you can get it on aramite you yeah. can get it on loaded question um so anything that like aren't those fusion rifles to me have just been power crept unless you have something really specific that you're building for makes sense um Mix, mixed opinions on this weapon, not strong enough to keep. Oh, and do not know why I have two of the same weapon now, so that can go. Right. <sighs> Ness's ablation, pattern fodder. This. I mean, that, that's that's the role. That's the role to one? go for for this. Uh, you know, uh, you know, repulsor place destabilizing for some sort of avoid play. Yeah. You know, that's the role to to make something like that happen. It's just a matter of. Are you using this in a build that utilizes overshields and destabilizing? Rounds? Not currently, but as we know, builds are about to change. Or sorry, they have changed. We definitely didn't mm -hmm. record this before the new season, um, so I'll keep that one. And in, 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 in any case, like I, I don't see the need to craft it if there's a role like this here. You know, like yeah, no, I, I think you can hang on to that. The other two really need good justification. Uh, pattern fodder. Fine. Um, okay, I have uh, Adept Acacia's Dejection that is mm -hmm. enhanced with uh, Envious Assassin and Power Calls of Infinity. 
Okay. I like it a lot, but I also like this one too because I have used it. Um, I'm keeping this mostly for pattern fodder, but again, it comes back to the whole adept versus uh, non-adept situation. I just like that yeah. a lot more. Um, I actually don't like reconstruction on a trace rifle if I'm using it as a primary. Yes. I'd much rather go rewind rounds. Or envious. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, I mean, envious if you're using it like a special. I yeah. would never use envious on a primary weapon okay. personally. Um, I'm going I'm going rewind rounds through and through mm. because it's a similar effect that you can utilize while you're actually using the gun. You don't need to stow the gun in order to get the benefit. Like sure. stowing a weapon, like a heavy weapon, that's fine. Yeah. Cuz you're not always on your heavy weapon. Okay. But on a primary, you want that availability as much as you possibly can. Yes. Okay. Fair enough. Um, I'm gonna just gonna keep it for the pattern though, so that's okay. once I get that, then that's good. Um, crafted, right, crafted, crafted. What uh, the fuck that's is a, this? a ritual weapon. Don't use it. That can go. All right, and you can pull it out of collections. Uh, this was an idea for a time, but like I don't know. It's it is adept, but I also have other adepts. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure if I have. What what energy hand cannon is your favorite right now? I think it's igneous, to be honest. What's your favorite 140? Oh, I have this one. Okay, so it is Exalted Truth is there. My favorite 140 is Exalted Truth. Um, I think this is an older one, if I'm not mistaken. And then this is the newer uh, one. That is Season of the Seraph, so that's uh, last year. And this one is newer, right? This, uh, this one? That one is just barely newer, I believe. It's hard to justify this I think over it's Palindrome. Within the last year. The only thing I can justify this over Palindrome is Perfect Float, but then again, it's not a huge reason. Uh -huh. It's it's. I'd say they're equivalent. I want to play around with this more before I make a decision on it. All right, all right. Uh, fun patrol weapon. I like. Basto ostinato. It's um, it's fun. It, I mean, Builds. I I think you have the void shotgun mm. uh, in in uh, Ness's Oblation. Yeah. If you are going to do anything with that. So, uh, personally, I, I'm getting rid of it, but, you know. If, I you're, have if you're enjoying it, if you're actually using it, then okay, yeah. but I think Ness's is, is probably still the play. Um, interesting role, but pulses need a lot more help than what Golden Tricorn can give it, to be completely honest with you. For P PvP? PvE. PvP, it's, it's fantastic, oh, okay. but PvE, it, again, it's like... I'm not gonna. I'm PVE. You shouldn't be using a pulse, anyways. Generally, unless there's a champion mod. But then in PVP, you have better options. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I already have a good one of these, and volt shot for shotguns is an interesting thing. I think that's why I kept it. But again, I haven't seen that meta come up. So, all right, two of these. Uh, these were both for a video. I did make this video. I didn't release the video, but they're they can go. Um, Love it. This again, like I, like this was a nostalgia role. I think from when I for when this first came out, and it was really really good. But now it's not very good, so that can also go. Trust is here because I literally cannot be bothered to get another trust. That's that's my justification. I want to keep this one. <laughs> here's here's my retort back to you. Why do you want a trust? Here's my retort back to you. Why do you not want to trust? Have you played with this weapon? It is an incredibly I unique weapon. I have Zowley's Bane. Okay, well, enjoy your cardboard toaster of a weapon. I, I like my guns with a bit of personality. Cardboard toaster? It's from King's Fall. You just said you like King's Fall. <laughs> I do like King's Fall. I don't like Zowley's Bane. Why not? Because it's so soulless. I feel like I'm shooting, I don't know. What am I shooting? Like like a Nerf gun, but like but it sounds like cardboard just being snapped in half every time you you shoot I it. Think we're, I think we're using different guns. No, bro. I don't know what you're talking nah, about. Nah, nah. Sorry, trust has way more personality than Zali's been, and that is objectively correct. How would you know? This has zero kills on it. You know, this is a reskin, right? I don't care. As in, like this, ha I, this one has zero. No, but this I saw it. I kept it. Zero. I saw it and I kept it because I know what my affinity with trust is. I don't need to shoot the new 2023 version of a 2018 version of a gun to know what it feels like. 
Okay, but then, you, you, so you clearly haven't, so why don't you just use the old one instead? Because <laughs> the old one was, was deleted by a certain Datto. Because evidently, <laughs> you did not care that much about trust. Okay. Um, mm, do I give you this one? I like this is what is that icon season twenty? The uh, yes. Okay, season twenty, rapid hit incandescent. It's a fine roll, and you're a controller player, so one eighties are fine on controller. Zero kills, not maximum level. What are we doing? Hmm. Okay, logic wins. You're a bad person. Anyways. Um, Thank you. Th <laughs> this was an interesting role to try something I'd never tried it out. It's also just statistically inferior to most other 600, so that's not a thing. This is the void forbearance, I suppose. That's worth keeping, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the perks aren't as uh, good, I think... Um, you know, I'd still rather use for parents. Destabilizing rounds, I just, I haven't personally really liked that much. I did some testing on them early light fall. It, you really got to build for it. And then even then, like, it's just, it's not giving me the value yeah. that I want it to have. I suppose if, um, if you were going to build for it, why wouldn't you just build around this? Yeah, I mean, the shotgun is more like, you know, I, I don't know how much I'd be using a slug shotgun in, like, GM content or master content, whereas the grenade launcher is a much safer pick. Um, it's more efficient. Uh, but if you really want to have some sort of, like, overshield, destabilizing, volatile-type build, are you probably going to use Nessa's? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or are you going to use, like, Collective Obligation? I will say I, like I haven't obligation. really used this since Lifefall. Like, once once I got yeah. my Craft of Four Balance, that's pretty much the only thing I have been using. Yeah, I think it's okay to keep, like, a Void yeah. Waveframe, because Waveframes are that good, and, you know, yeah, you yeah. have, like, oh, the, the Surge is Void, and whatever. Sure. Um, it's okay. Okay. Um, this is... The, I, I think that's fine. Um, I'm going to keep these two Glaives until someone from my staff who's a glaive fanatic tells me it's okay to delete them otherwise i will not hear the end of it um fine and we're gonna look season of the glaive yeah. is here so let's never talk about this one again and let's never talk about the i know these are bad i know they were they were bad the moment they were announced i don't know why i have them um cool I have this crafted now. I don't need that. I don't have the pattern okay. crafted, but it's fine. So this one... And boom, there you go. Envious Reservoir. Power yeah, crept. Like, just at absolutely power crept all other fusions. However, Envious and Reservoir is a good combo, and it still does work when you want it to. But, like, who's using, oh, a, totally. who's using a fusion to add clear at the same time? I mean, the Reservoir Burst Shot, if you trigger Envious Assassin, like, you're still getting insane value out of it. I'm not going to yeah. make you delete it. If you want to delete this on your own, knock yourself out. I'm not making you delete this one. I think that's still interesting enough to keep around. Yeah, it's still very strong. Crafted, crafted, crafted. Crafted, crafted. No, we can focus that now. Oh my God. Um, this is a rare roll. I haven't played around enough with it. I think I got it like last week, so I'm just going to keep that. Um, All right, fine. No. Yes. This is insane when you get it going. All right. No. Uh, da, 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 again, no. Then we have some cr a, a, a bit too much crafting. For, how much of these do I actually need? Uh, let's just quickly do that. And after after this, uh, I want to pick your brain on the armor situation. Yeah. Uh, pulse. Yeah, I definitely want to hit armor. Pulses. Because a lot of this, like you three. are, you're self sufficient. Like you know what is and is not cope. I I understand you maybe want me to like push you. Mm -hmm. A little bit more, but like you're you're a smart guy, you know. Hmm. Okay. Like all of these to me are just all dog, pretty much. So I will say, don't sleep on sword logic and PvE. Do uh, PvP. Do not sleep on this. This is an no ridiculous in thing. PvP. Yes, it, it's very very good in PvP. So, but PvE, I don't like sword logic on a primary. So why don't I do this? I'm gonna keep this one, and I'm gonna keep this one. Okay. I need three of Fine. them. Um. Okay. So I'll keep. This one, this one, and I'll keep the swashbuckler one, and then the rest can go. Deal. Do, 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 do. That's and then this one can go. 
because that's like that's your PvE one. This these are your two PvP ones. I don't think Headseeker has any effect whatsoever on a rapid fire, but it's still nice to have the aim assist. This is fun. This is a good weapon. But again, like I need the pattern, so I'll keep that. Um, All right. The uh, it's such a bad roll. Like literally just there for the flex. I, I don't care enough about the flex. Uh, Aramite, a couple of these. I think this now, is. What are these deadpan deliveries here? These are new. These are the new ones uh, from season yeah. twenty-two. Okay. But I don't care how new they are. What the hell is this? Okay, that can go. I agree with you. This can also go. <laughs> Um, I was just drawn to overflow here, one two punch. But again, like like you said, it's not okay. about the damage; it's about the utility. Yeah, but but you also don't have a. I don't think you have many one two punch shotguns in the energy slot. So if you want to keep one for the energy yeah. slot, I'm not going to stop you. Okay, then I'll do that. I'll go through that with the fine tooth comb. I uh, don't know. You just what said you don't like Jurassic Green. For. And neither of these, because I was looking for Snap Discord, I never got it. So these are the two. Mm -hmm best alternatives so that can go this can go this is interesting i think I, I need to play around with this more but like the one game i did have i enjoyed right. that a lot and then some copium rolls for you okay clown firing is it's very good but it is still cope until proven that it is not yeah. um and that one i mean it, are you using that over no uh no oh, over beloved no it's good, okay. but it's not that good. Okay, so that's... Oh, wow, you deleted that one too? Okay. Yeah, because you can focus them. They're Vanguard weapons. Um, there's some things to be right. done here. There's not a lot to be done here. I can probably get rid of this now that that's there. So that's that's an easy one to do. Um, okay. So let's yeah, move... Let, let's, get to, let's get to the armor here. Yeah, uh, don't worry about this. It's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so we have some dupes here. Um, okay. I don't listen so with armor. So this is where I'm. I think I have the most trouble with because okay. I'm still new to build crafting and I'm still trying to figure out. Okay, keep this for that. I know that anything under a 65 roll is not worth keeping around. I know that you want to have spikes in. Like I know how the stats are are split between the top three and the bottom three, and I know you want spikes mm -hmm. in. You know, two of them basically. Um, but what I yeah. don't know is the particular composition of stuff. Like I know for this this particular role, this is really good for PvP and and melee centric stuff. So maybe like an Athrasis embrace build. Um, mm -hmm. But then there's other stuff that like has a weird distro, distro, and I'm not sure if it's worth keeping around because that's 67 base, um, but it's right. not artifice. But you know? a lot of intellect. Yeah, but a lot yeah. of intellect, and it's like. At a time, I know intellect was was important, but now it's not nearly as important. So the only value case I can see out of this is for trials, potentially. Mm -hmm. um, so I just like there's just a bunch of stuff here that I'm not like I have a lot of anxiety about it because I don't know what is absolutely worth keeping. What is oh this is kind of good for for a potentially a build, and then generally just having mm -hmm. like what's the what's the cutoff for having a variety of stuff just in the vault that's ready to be used in a build that you don't know you need yet. Um, so here here's what I'll say. So I did like an uh, like an absolute ton of farming before Lightfall came out for Artifice armor when it was super super easy to do in. Master duality. You're just farming nonstop, get a bunch of armor. I farmed so much, I threw it all in the vault. Then, once Lightfall showed up, all I was doing was just making builds. Mm. Builds, 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 as many builds as I could possibly do. And the more builds you create, the more you realize that a lot of pieces of armor that are showing up in those builds are the same pieces of armor like multiple times over. Okay. Because there are only so many good stat distributions that you really want per character before you're just like, okay, like literally this set of armor with just maybe a couple of mod changes is good enough for 95% of the builds that I'm running. Like Warlock, for example, most of the time you just want high recovery, high discipline, high resilience, right? If you can go triple hundred in those, you're probably set for 95% of builds. Hunters, there's a bit more, uh, you know, a bit more going on there. I tend to go for uh, higher, like, resilience, higher discipline than maybe, like, medium recovery, medium mobility, um, maybe medium strength as well, because they just need a lot more stats from, uh, from mobility. Uh, and then Titan is also in a very similar boat 
to Warlock, where you want a lot of resilience, you want a lot of recovery, you want a lot of discipline, maybe certain builds you want a lot of, you want a lot of strength. So as you create those builds, you're going to, I'm gonna take my hood off here, uh, you're going to see a lot of pieces that just like, they just show up in everything because they're that well rolled. Yeah. So what you really need to do to find those pieces is you just need to make some builds. Okay. If you're really that worried about like, which armor do I pick, which armor do I keep, go in and make some builds of whatever you happen to be running at the time, right? I, I change my builds almost every season because there's new artifact perks that are coming in or certain exotics get buffed or just something happens where I wanna make a new build or something like that. And the overwhelming majority of the pieces that are in my builds now have been in my builds for the past year, just because the stat roll distribution works exactly how I need it to. Right. So I wouldn't say that like, if you know, you should automatically dismantle anything that's 65 or it's like 64 or lower. Yeah. Because the average player is not gonna have that much access to super high quality armor all the time. Sure. Um, what I would say is that you should delete like 64 and lower stuff It's if it's of a bad distribution. Like this piece of armor right here is something that I would just instantly delete because it's again. only got one really big spike and it's an intellect, which is arguably one of the weakest stats in the game right now, at least for PvE. Right. Um, that's something that I'm just, boom, so for it's you, gone. So, so um, distro... All things being equal, distro is more important than the stat total. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, I've you know, I have people tell me like, oh, but this is a 68, 69 roll, 70 roll. I'm like, yeah, but it has 27 mobility and 17 intellect. You're never going to use this armor piece, right? Like, this is another example of like, I would never use this. There's no major spikes. Maybe you have like the slightest bit of resilience. But you have wasted stats in intellect. You have wasted stats in mobility. Um, so, well, I guess if this just, is for a hunter, then, then so, never mind. But okay, so talk. So just to get into the, just to get into the mind of my viewers for a second here. Mm -hmm. The reason maybe perhaps some people would like to consider keeping this kind of a role is because it has a fairly even-ish distribution stats. Like you've got a little bit of everything. Is that the mm -hmm. wrong approach for build coverling? Sometimes you do need a little bit of recovery or a little bit of discipline or whatever like why only chase the spikes because you don't really need a whole lot of every stat you really want to dial in on the stats that you want to minimize maybe how many stat mods you have to put in your armor because stat mods cost energy and sometimes you don't always want stat mods in your armor especially now with some of the changes that are coming to mods uh, or sorry, some of the changes that are already here <laughs> with mods uh, where things, you know, don't have as much value as they used yep. to. Um, and so, like, if you have something that's just like 10, 10, 10 across, sure, you're, you're going to throw that in to your armor and whatever and get one click up, but you're still going to have, a, like, a lot of wasted stats. And we really want to minimize wasted stats as much as we can. Wasted stats are like, you know, if you have 78 of something right yeah. that th those eight points they're not doing anything sure right? it's only until you get to the to the 80 or you go down to the 70 you want as close to that zero uh as you can so that you're minimizing your uh, like any stats that are not being used actively sure so that's why i don't really do a whole lot with you know, these sort of just like bland spread, like evenly spread rolls is because they don't really help you get to that next like tier of stats. Like something like that is is much more enticing to me because it's a lot more focused, even though like, you know, pretend the intellect was on like discipline or something like sure. that. Sure. That would be a lot more focused on the stats that I really, really want. And so it's much better to go heavy into a couple of stats as opposed to just like blanket everything unless you have some kind of a build that you know would want blanket everything hunters more so because they use mobility mm -hmm. unlike every other class which basically doesn't um so yeah that that's why i think that just sort of like bland spread of like 10 of each stat or 11 of each stat is just it's not really that enticing because it doesn't really get you to those higher tiers that you really want okay so with all that being said it seems like my understanding of what to keep and what to use is a little bit whack right now most of my okay. well, most of my uh 
builds are on Hunter. And okay. I have maybe one or two like general purpose builds. Like I have a bonk build on, on Titan, which is now dead, sadly. And then I have the Sunbreaker. I, I, I don't think it's dead. I don't think it's dead. Well, it's not as free, so it's basically dead. <laughs> So and then sure. I, and then I have the sun braces build which miraculously did not get touched I don't understand why, um, mm-hmm. so uh, like I'll keep those but like I my thinking now is this would take too long to do with you right now so I feel like the best course of action is to look at anything that's not spiky and to look at anything that's not being currently used in a build and the rest just delete it unless we're talking about yeah. an ex like only one exotic I have like. Um, what was it? I had one over here. I, I think it's more common for, for my other two characters. Like, I don't have another Wings, for example. Yeah, no, if, especially as content creators, I tell content creators, like, I don't, I'm not going to get mad at them for keeping one of every exotic. Like, yeah. it's kind of our job. We need access to every single exotic. Yeah. I, dude, I have like 61 or 62 roll nothing manacles, right? <laughs> they're, they're not that great, but the stat distribution's good. So I'm just like, I'm keeping them in case I want to use nothing manacles. Yeah. I think they are not super great right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, as, as content creator, or even just like as a player who is really invested in the game, if you want to keep one of every exotic, keep one of every exotic, it's fine. Yep. Um, but yeah, for you, what, what you need to do is you need to go in and you just need to make some builds. That's what you really need to do. You need to sit down and be like, all right, what builds do I want on Hunter? I want my... Uh, my strand hunter i want my arc hunter i want my this hunter i want my that hunter blah 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 blah. you make all those builds and you see what armor is being used in those builds what are the and then once analyses? you're satisfied yeah yeah once you're satisfied with all of the builds that you have created you trash the rest of your armor because the game or like something like d2 armor picker finds the best armor uh, like they find the best armor rolls that are going to mesh with what you want stats wise. Yeah. So anything that's not being used hasn't been placed into a build. And eventually you just kind of need to let go of some of that armor. And then once and you just be like, and then once you have I'm that done. build and perhaps you have a bunch of wasted stats or maybe a category isn't high enough, then you can go start looking for that specific piece of armor. Right. Yeah. And, and it also makes it so that like when you create all these builds, you spent so much time going in and and creating the builds in dim and then saving them in game and then doing the mods and then doing your fashion that you're only going to want to change things if you get insanely insanely well rolled armor yeah because it's just not worth it for you to go back and be like oh well i could get one more tier of mobility like who effing cares yeah it's not that deep you know so that way you stop yourself from holding on to armor that you're just kind of like iffy on because you've already made your builds and you don't want to spend all that time remaking a build just to find out maybe even that you're not even getting any kind of a boost at all, mm. right? Um, yeah, that's fair. So that's that's really what you need to do. You just need to sit down. You need to think about what kind of builds you're interested in. You need to make the builds. You're going to find that certain armor pieces are going to show up more often than others because of just how they are rolled and what stats you're looking for. Um, and then after that, you delete the rest and then you be much more diligent about deleting basically everything that comes into your inventory as it comes into your inventory because armor right now is not at a point where like you really need to upgrade once you've hit the maximum so right keep, you got your full yeah. artifice armor set you're kitted out you're you can stay like that until bungie entices you somehow with new armor whatever that might be sure and whenever possible, try and always go for artifice armor because of the extra slots. If if possible, yes, because our, a full artifice armor will get you another fifteen stats, mm. uh, which is pretty nice, and it can give you some flexibility with you know trying to hit certain yeah. rolls. Yeah. Um, but only if it's good armor. Like you shouldn't take like a sixty-seven artifice piece. Uh, if it's got a terrible roll over something like a 64 non-artifice, but it's got like on the money stats. For sure. The number, big number does not always mean better. Oh, you don't want to say that to Destiny players. The what matters the most. You don't want to say that to Destiny players? Yeah, What's right. wrong with you? Funny number go up. No, I mean, the distribution matters so much more. No, it matters yeah. so much more. That's very helpful. Thank you. So... Yeah, like um, what? Like what? You're on a hunter right now, right? Yes. The, the the red boots in the middle. Let me see the red boots in the middle. 
uh, one to the left. Yeah, like these, these have no wasted stats and they're 67, mm. right? Like n by no wasted stats, I mean, you basically have stuff in every category other than intellect. Yeah. No wasted stats for other classes would be like, you have no bonus stats in intellect or mobility, right? right. They're all stats that you're using pretty much all the time. Now this so isn't spiky it would, though. It's a little spiky. It's got, you know, decently high recovery and discipline and strength, but for hunters specifically, because you need so many stats, something like this is okay to keep around until the game or until like D2 Armor Picker says like, yeah, I just couldn't find a spot for it in a build. Like we tried, like you made a whole bunch of stuff. It just didn't pop up. Dude, I've had super spiky armor. I've had 68 rolls with like pretty good stat distributions never show up in a build. Really? Uh, just because mathematically yeah. it just didn't work and that's okay. Okay, all right. So once you have a, a, a sort of a, a repertoire of spiky stuff that you're using or, or, or not, or just there being used, um, you're mostly looking for no wasted stat drops and then making a decision on that, whether or not you're going to keep it. So if this drop for you today, you may, in your particular position, you might not be terribly enticed by it, for, but for me, let's say I don't have, maybe I, I, I could improve a build or maybe there isn't something that isn't perfect. This could potentially change mm -hmm. that. Or I just don't have a lot of variety. Like on my other two characters, I don't have as many of these pieces just kind of lying around. So having something right. like this would just be there for flexibility of mathematically speaking. Right, yeah, exactly. Okay. Like you, you're never gonna know if something works until you actually go yeah. in to like, D2 Armor Picker and make the build. Because again, for all you know, like this pair of boots could show up in every hunter build that you're about to make, yeah. or they could appear in no builds that you're about to make. Yeah. It's just about how does the math work out? What fragments are you using? What mods are you gonna use or not use? Okay. And then like, what build are you going for in general? All right, sounds good. I think I know what I'm doing for the rest of the day. <laughs> uh, yeah. just, going just go in, make some builds, find out what you like. And it's just gonna like lessen the amount of time that you need to futz around yeah. in game being like, all right, what, what, like, what build was I doing? Cause you can just make them, you go into dim, you can just hit one button, you can save it in game, yeah, it'll yeah. automatically switch. And as long as you're just like a little bit diligent about it, it's it just speeds up. Like an hour or two invested now is gonna save you so much time down the road because you can just click a button and that's it. All right. Well, thanks a lot, man. I think let's just end it there because we have been going on for, for quite some time. Um, okay. There's just too much here to go through, to be honest. Like, Yeah, I mean, we, we could go through every single piece, and there was definitely some stuff that I was seeing, but I think it would be a much better use of your time to go make some builds. Make like, you say, you what, what character do you play the most? Hunter? Hunter, yeah. Okay, most so of this is make Hunter. a bunch of Hunter builds. Yep. Make a bunch of Hunter builds. Make like a couple of Warlock builds, Titan builds. You know, let's say six Hunter builds, two Titan builds, two Warlock builds, something like that. Gotcha. Um, and then once you're done making all those builds, you maybe keep some of the strongest items that didn't get used in case you want to make some stuff in the future. And then the rest of it, you just trash. I, it, I think it's totally okay to keep, you know, like one or two boots for your hunter, one or two chest pieces for your hunter, just so you have a little bit of flexibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then after that, anything that you get needs to be a giga roll mm -hmm. for you to keep otherwise you just trash it because otherwise you're just going to hold on to stuff and you're like what if this is good it's just you have to be like in your mind i made these builds already i know that they're the best that they can be anything that i get needs to be top tier because otherwise i'm not going to mess with it perfect all right well thanks a lot dado thank you for for joining me today course, on bud. on this rather entertaining shall we say vault cleaning i hope uh, mm -hmm. everybody watching at home that this was a lot more in depth than last year and i hope that this scratched that particular itch for you um any uh words of wisdom for the holiday stato any anything you want to say um i hope everybody gets all the presents that they want for the holidays and i hope that you give people neat stuff for the holidays too that they would appreciate but otherwise uh, love each other and 
Subscribe and like the video and please leave a comment talking about your favorite role that we deleted in this video. Yes, and for all of my viewers, you better be subscribed to Dado already. I hope you are. And also go sub to him on Twitch because that's where he's going to be making his money after Destiny 2 dies. Hey, yo. Anyhow. Any primers. Any primers in the chat, bros? <laughs> all right, cheers, bud. I hate myself. <laughs> hey, bud. <laughs>